Let's talk about the arithmetic. So arithmetic in decimal number system is easier. Um, which you have been learning and you have learned in elementary school and pre-elementary school. But when we are dealing with a different uh, base system, different radix systems, we need to be very cautiously dealing with the arithmetic. So for example, let's talk about the binary arithmetic addition. The first one, 0 plus 0 is simply 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, right? 2 cannot be represented in binary number system, okay? And this is the reason why we represent it with two digits, 1 and 0. Why? Have you guys studied this in 2500? Hmm? So 1 plus 1 makes, the answer is 1, 0. And if you convert this 1, 0 into decimal, what would you get? 0 is 2 to the power 0, and this is 2 to the power 1. This is exactly 2. Okay? So when you're adding 1 and 1 in binary number system, the output would always be 1, 0. Always remember this. Okay? So example here, this value, what is this value, by the way, in decimal? This is 3, and this is simply 1, so answer should be 4. So when you add 1 plus 1, the answer is 0, and the carry is placed here. Then again, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is again 0, 1, and then 1 is copied here. What about 1 plus 1 plus 1? If I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 in binary. What will be the answer? Yep. It will be what? It will be 1, 1. Okay? This is the binary equivalent of adding 1 plus 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is exactly 3. And if you convert this binary into decimal, what is this value? 2 to the power 0 plus this one is 2 to the power 1, which is equivalent to 3. Okay, so always remember when you are adding three ones together, the output in binary will be one one. When you are adding one and zero, sorry, one and one, two ones together, the output will be one zero. Okay, so we have a number, um, let's say add um, zero one one zero one one together. So when we add two ones in binary, what will be the output? Hmm? What should be the output? Adding two ones. In decimal, what is the answer? Two, right? How do we represent two in binary? Or zero, one. So one has to be carried to the next bit. OK, now we have one, one, and one. So here are three ones. So what should be the answer? When we add three ones together, in decimal, what is, what is the answer? It's three, right? And how do we represent three in binary? It's one, one. So one, and then next one is carried up here, and then it is just right up here. So this is exactly equivalent to, so this was three, this was three, and this is six. How you can convert it by zero times 2 to the power 0 plus 1 times 2 to the power 1 and this 1 times 2 to the power 2. So here it, it will remain 0 and this is 2 and this is 4. So 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay? Understand? Any question? Alright, so let's go back. White. Okay. Yeah. Similarly for subtraction, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, and we cannot subtract 0 minus 1. So what we need to do is to borrow from the next digit. And when you borrow it, it will make this number 2. Okay, so 1, 0 means 2. 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, here is an example here. Uh, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 
you cannot subtract 1 from 0 so you have to borrow so when we borrow it it will make um, what's happening? it will make the number I mean 1 plus this one is let me enlarge it it is this so 1 0 corresponds to 2 2 minus 1 is 1 still and since we borrowed 1 from here so it will remain 0 so the answer is 0 1 0 here so what was the actual value 1 0 1 which is 5 0 1 1 was 3 so 5 minus 3 is 2 and this is equivalent to 2 okay multiplication is same as what we how we multiply our decimal numbers so we multiply the entire thing with 1 it will remain same then we multiplied with the next digit which is 0 after giving a space here and similarly multiplied with the the entire number with 1 it will give you the same thing and finally add them all together the multiplication is same as you what how you do it in decimal number system division is also same exactly so if you're trying to divide 110 uh, from with the 10 this is what value is this in decimal can anybody tell me hmm? 6 and this 2 so when you divide 6 by 2 you first have to divide it by 1 it is um, this one is cancelled I mean subtracted to 0 and 1 is copied here and then again so 6 when you 6 divide 6 by 2 it will return the value 3 okay it's perfectly visible any question <clears throat> so you will gradually memorize these powers 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 all the way until whatever you this 1 0 2 4 corresponds to 1 kilo okay so you might have already seen the sizes of your files in your computer let's say an image is uh, for example 1 kilo bytes so what is byte anybody know <coughs> hmm? a group of 8 bits is referred as uh, uh, one byte okay so one kilo byte means these are the one zero two four bytes the so kilo means uh, in digital system it does not mean thousand it means one zero two four okay similarly one kilo times one kilo is one mega uh, 